guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Heaven with Heaven's Odd Venture, and I'm excited to bring you a video talking about the best parts about being an accountant and the worst parts about being an accountant. So, I'm actually on a work trip. So, I had a work conference today. We are in Nashville, Tennessee. If you guys are new here, I am a certified public accountant. I am a CPA going on five years this summer, which is crazy. And I've been an auditor for the state of Tennessee. So I've been a legislative auditor for over six and a half years. So I just want to bring you guys a video that just talks more about the day to day of being an accountant, things that not everyone talks about, some of the highs, some of the lows, some of the stuff just in between that you won't know until you're in the job doing it day to day. So, but first of all, this video is sponsored by Becker, which is so exciting. They are awesome to work with. They helped me get my CPA. We'll jump into that here in a little bit. But instead of you guys just listening to me talk about my very limited bias experience as an accountant for over six years I decided at the conference today to film some of my co-workers and have them help you guys see what the best parts about being an accountant is as well as the worst so let's roll those clips and see what everybody says the best part about being an accountant is when you get to a reconcilement and the numbers almost match. They're so close to matching that you're like, woo, I'm good enough. Ability to always be on your toes. You never know uh, what issue you might run into, what kind of circumstance you'll have. Um, I work as an auditor and you never know what your client will give you. Um, so it's just, I think the ability to always be on your toes and not do the same thing every day. Just learning about the different entities and speaking to different people and meeting different team members. So I think the best thing about being an accountant is all the doors that's open for me. Um, my career took paths that I never thought and it all started with accounting, the people that I've met. I get to learn all about all the government agencies I work for and who they serve and what they do. I find it all very fascinating. Being able to help, help business owners make better decisions. For the most part, black and white, so uh, there is no you could be right, you could be wrong. It's pretty straightforward. It's the team that I work with. They're such an amazing team. The many challenges that we get to do, like working with different types of data and looking at reports and just trying to put all of that together into something that we can produce to the public that they can understand. The best part of being an accountant is at the very end when you put everything together, you have all these desperate parts you've worked on, you bring them together, and you get it to balance. I think it's finding solutions to problems, whether those solutions are financial problems uh, or whether it be uh, just trying to figure out processes and procedures. It's essentially the fact that I feel like I'm helping whenever you know, I'm telling people what they're doing wrong, but I try to turn it into a positive spin. So it gives me an opportunity to help everybody out. That you get to learn about the entity's processes and procedures. As a lifelong learner is that I don't always do the same thing. So just about every six months, I'm on a new audit, a different audit. And I get to new, learn different and new programs and how different departments interact and how different things work together. And so as somebody who really enjoys learning, it's just kind of fun that I get to see all these different things. being an accountant is when the reconcilements are like huge off, big time off, and you can't figure out what it is, and then you're like, man, if they don't fix this, I'm going to scream. Trying to explain the numbers or the solutions to people who do not understand accounting. Telling people what they're doing wrong. It's when you ask for the records and they bring, it to, bring them to you in a hot water heater box. It's writing findings. The worst part is when things don't balance. It's always the changing guidance, new rules you have to learn, but that does give you job security. Whenever I have to do the research and just reading and reading, I'm more of a hands-on person. Sitting for long periods of time, like eight hours, that was a big shock to my system. The nervousness and the uh, fear of, you know, not knowing where, where an issue may be coming from. My least favorite part of accounting is probably just the occasional uh, Drudge work probably isn't the right word, but it can kind of feel that way sometimes. It's the coaching. Uh, there's not a whole lot of human interaction. You're kind of to yourself, and I definitely like socializing. The worst part about being a county is that all my family and friends think I can do their taxes, but I totally chose auditing, and I don't know about taxes. 
my coworkers are awesome for spontaneously just jumping into a YouTube video, not having any idea how this is gonna turn out. So thank you guys again for participating. But I think like a couple of people mentioned on those clips that I filmed, in accounting, you are a lifelong learner. You do have to keep up with all the accounting standards. The world is changing every single day. And as business is becoming more automated, as things become more technologically advanced, as AI is entering our field, this stuff is changing daily. I mean, data analytics alone, we have just progressed a lot in the last year at my organization. But I think that's a good thing. I think it keeps you on your toes. I think it keeps you fresh. It keeps your brain engaged. It keeps you as a student. Speaking of being a lifelong learner, which you do commit to if you commit to accounting, Becker offers a prime annual subscription package that you can earn your continuing professional education. These are the hours that are needed when you do become a licensed professional. You will have to maintain to prove to your state board of accountancy that you are learning, that you do know the new updates in your field of study. And there are a variety of different topics that you have to meet and you'll learn all about that when you become licensed. I do really enjoy Becker CPE. That's actually what I used way before they reached out to me, but that's what we used at work. The on-demand courses are nice because you can just fit those in your day whenever if you have some downtime on the project that you're working on you want to earn some CPE because you need the hours anyway you can go onto Becker's website and I'll leave the link down below but you can type in any type of field of study that you want to learn about whether that be like artificial intelligence or you know data analytics you can learn about blockchain or ethics and we all need the state ethics requirement and Becker's are just really superb on the different CPEs that I've done they do a really good job of having really good professional good speakers people that really know what they're talking about so it's not going to waste your time. You are also quizzed at the end. So just a heads up, make sure you're paying attention because you do have to earn that CPE. You got to prove that you learned something. You do have to take a test. <laughs> it's nothing like the CPA, but it may take you a few tries to pass it. You have unlimited takes, but just putting that out there. The Becker Prime membership offers over 700 on-demand courses, but then also over a thousand live webinars and you pay an annual subscription fee. So you have it for a whole year, unlimited as much as you want to get. And their CPE is approved by the 50 states boards of accountancy. So you can take it. It's awesome. I am a Becker student myself. I really enjoy it. And I always just feel better about myself when I finish a course because you got tested on it. You're like, yeah, I learned something today. And it's always evolving. There's always new courses. And I mean, the tax updates alone, I don't work in tax whatsoever, but I have taken some CPE tax courses just so I can be aware before I do my own personal <laughs> taxes of what's new and what's going on. And it's just nice that they are updated, that they are giving you new courses, that they are keeping up with the world. So I'm going to include the whole having to get CP as a good part about being an accountant because it's cool to always learn and you're challenging your brain. One of the best parts of being an auditor specifically is that you work on a team and therefore you're never alone. You have your own sections, like you have your own independent work that you're responsible for, but you're able to work together as a team to get there. You're able to bounce ideas off of each other and ask people who have been doing this longer than you to get answers. Also, when times get tough and stressful and there are busy seasons in a lot of accounting roles and we have a busy season ourselves and things do get high stress and emotions are high, tensions are high, it's kind of spread along the team. You're not holding that all yourself. You're not fully responsible for the audit. The whole team is responsible for the audit. You guys can help each other out and you guys are all on the same page. You're in it together. And I think that's the most comforting thing about being an auditor. It's just like, you're not alone ever. You're never alone. You guys are all responsible for the same thing. And it's kind of an accountability check. And I really enjoy that about auditing. I will say for me personally, the worst part about being an accountant, and a couple of people mentioned this that I interviewed during the little video clips, is having to sit at a desk all day. That is the hardest part for me. I am a go, 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 outgoing social person. And luckily as an auditor, I mean, I, there's always client meetings to be held. There's always phone calls to make. There's always things to do. Also, you can always get up from your desk and go on a walk. You're not chained to your desk. I think some people feel like they have to literally work the eight hours on the computer sitting there. You need to rejog your brain. You need to get up and go on a walk. You need to go get a snack. You need to do some stretches on the floor, drink some water, just get up, sit back down, get your brain flowing, get the blood pumping. Also like Matt mentioned in this video, and I completely agree, the one of the hardest parts about being an accountant is when everyone assumes that you can do their taxes and you know all the tax implications and you just become this tax professional because that's all anyone ever needs from an accountant to begin with on a personal level. And when you don't study tax, y'all, I don't know nothing about tax. That is not my field. Auditor all the way. So it's just every tax season, I put this big disclaimer on my Facebook page. I'm like, you guys, I'm so sorry. I can't help you with your taxes. <laughs> I can help alongside you. We can both get on the IRS website and try and figure it out ourselves because I am trained to learn like authoritative literature and learn the lingo of like federal regulations, but I do not naturally understand the tax code. That's not what I work in. So I feel like I disappoint a lot of people when I tell them I can't help them with their taxes, but also, on the flip side of that people assume that you're just this like financial guru that you all of a sudden have all the answers on how to save money and budget and how to make real estate investments and how to 
work with cryptocurrency and all this stuff just because you got an accounting degree. So that can be used for your benefit, but also you just really gotta humble yourself and just admit to people you don't have the answers to life's problems. <laughs> A downside of being an auditor specifically, if you take what you learn at work into your personal life, and what I mean by that is mostly being skeptical of everything, because at work you cannot trust anything unless you see proof. It is trust but verify. You do not take anyone's word for anything. You always verify. I do that in my personal life and I always have. I feel like that's why I'm a good auditor is I was, I'm just skeptical of the world in general. But it's not good in relationships and it can be a problem. You can have trust issues and you just gotta work through that. You just can't carry that into your personal life. You know, you gotta, you gotta build trust. It's important. Me and my boyfriend are great, but there are times when he's like, will you quit being an auditor and trust me? <laughs> This is a plus and minus, but the room for innovation is huge within accounting. I mean, things are changing every single day, like we've talked about. So there is always room for innovation. So you can get real creative. You can really try and figure out a, a new way to do things. You can start creating models and like Power BI. I mean, and one of the measures we literally work with created an entire program by himself that helps us calculate all the leases and Sabitas for the new Gatsby implementation we had to do this year. Like mind blowing, like I'm mind boggled, like that someone has the knowledge to do that. So he was able to use his creative energy that he's learned and create that. The downside that where I was going with this is there really isn't room for a lot of creative energy within accounting. It is a very black and white field. It, everything makes sense. I mean, the numbers don't lie. They're there out in the open, whether you want to read them or not. That's really the decision here. But I'm a very creative minded person. I love digital media. I love social media. That's why I feel like, feel like I got a YouTube channel early on. It's my creative outlet. So I don't really get that a lot at work, but I am on the wellness council at work. And that's really nice because that is my creative outlet where I can just use some of that you know energy that's not in Excel every day, but I can actually like write blog posts and help with the monthly challenges we do every month. And I'm in two book clubs at work, which is fun. And then also helping with the videos that we do at our conferences. I'm gonna end on this note, but the biggest takeaway if you're considering going into accounting or if you're a student studying accounting is you just gotta be ready for everyday challenges and puzzles. That is literally your job is to just take all the data and information in a business and you turn it into readable numeric data for people to analyze and make decisions. That is really your job, no matter what accounting role that you take. And it can be a puzzle. It can be a really long, difficult, challenging puzzle. There, there may be a lot of research involved of figuring out the rules of the puzzle or how to enforce the puzzle. And like Edwin said, sometimes it's difficult to take the conclusions that you've spent so hard on and translating them to people who don't understand accounting. You now have to turn your whole language that you use and you understand and explain it to everyday people. <sighs> so anyway, you guys, I feel like I just threw a lot out at you and I apologize. I always talk way too fast and I tell myself to slow down, but my brain is just going five times as fast as my mouth can keep up with. So I apologize for that, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to thank Becker for sponsoring another video of mine. This is so exciting to get to work with them because I truly stand by them. I love them so much as a company. I just give so much credit to my quote unquote success to Becker because they have brought me here. I feel like I've been a Becker student for so long and I'm just so excited to continue working with them. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this video was helpful. If you're making any kind of decisions about accounting or maybe you are an accountant and you just wanted to laugh and agree with everything I'm saying or disagree, let me know down below different parts I forgot to mention or what are your best parts about an account? What are your worst parts about being an accountant guys let me know because we can all laugh about it together i will catch y'all next time <laughs> bye friends